Oh, I see how it's doing it. Yeah, it's pushing it, pushing oh. it out. Oh. It's still the same degree of precision. Like it's doing the waviness on purpose. Mm-hmm. Wow. Could the next iPhone, by the way, the are they name. gonna, yeah, the, the name, name, first of all, what is that, 11? I kind of think they have to do this whole Roman numeral thing because they switched from numbers, but I don't think anyone can hold them to that. It's losing its luster. Yeah. Could the iPhone 11 power a laptop? Okay, right off the bat, yes. Right. It could. It could. But should the iPhone 11 power a laptop? So there's this, uh, this patent application here, which looks a lot like something that, was it Razer showed off at CES a few years back? I'm gonna forget the name. It was either Linda or Linda, something like Project it. Project Linda, in which a phone slotted into the area where you would normally have a trackpad. It was a cool idea. Mm -hmm. It was a Razer phone. So obviously a lot of hype around the performance of the phone. Razer wanting to show off something having to do with that performance. You get the touch screen as a trackpad, which mm -hmm. is kind of cool. What I was thinking is it's getting harder and harder to convince people to spend like a thousand bucks on a phone. If you could make the proposition that the phone can also be their laptop. Are you looking at the iPad application right yeah. now? Yeah. That's the thing is they've already tried selling people like me on an iPad replacing their laptop and iOS is not quite there yet. That's no. kind of been that like last hurdle they've had to get over. So trying to slot an iPhone into that application might be an even harder sell. I understand what you're saying about spending a thousand dollars year after year, not as convincing. Mm -hmm. What if you slotted it into the spot and then rather than have iOS, you had OS 10? What Samsung did with the DeX setup yes. is that the interface is completely different from Full Android. Full whole different UI. Yeah, it kind of yeah. looks like Chrome or something. You plug the iPhone or the iPad into the specialized Apple dock mm -hmm. and you get this OS 10 Lite or some version that the 812 or 813 could power. That could be interesting. That could be interesting. Yeah, I mean, and the thing is we keep talking about just how powerful these new Apple products are, the mobile products, the, the phones, the iPad and so on. It's almost like in their current environment, they're not really using the hardware that's sitting there. Like for a lot of people, a lot of people are buying these things and they're not really maxing out the capacity. Oh, yeah, no. And it's obvious that Apple has a real advantage in that department when it yeah. comes to mobile processors. It's almost like they're underutilizing that advantage. And this could be a way to kind of showcase just how powerful those mobile processors are. If they did it well, it would be a great showcase of it. Cause we've said that for a while, like not only is the A12 so great and the A12X is so great, but you have so much more headroom performance wise that the phone lasts super long time. You get a new OS update, it works fine. Showing some application to a normal person that could actually take more of a use of that processing power instead of just Instagram and Twitter yeah. and Gmail. Like most people never actually use that extra power. You put that in the hands of a student, mm -hmm. they're taking notes on it. They're suddenly, I don't know, multitasking, two apps open at the same time, right. that kind of thing. Let's say Apple does go ahead and create a product like this. I mean, really, it's just an accessory. It's just a shell. It's a screen and a keyboard, yeah. but you know Apple. Apple's gonna do the premium way, which yes. means it's gonna be a, I mean, ideally a great screen. I'm not a fan of Apple's keyboard cases, by the way. Talk about the iPad keyboard case? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I couldn't get used to it. It's not that great. In fact, I had trouble recently with the, the chiclet style keys on the new MacBook Air as well. I'm using a ThinkPad, huh. the X1 Carbon. And that keyboard, I love that keyboard right Better now. Keyboard. I'm clacking away. I mean, it's not like a mechanical keyboard, but just getting some travel back. Yeah. Would Apple do that or would Apple be stubborn and put that chick that oh, no, magic no, yeah, yeah, trackpad, yeah. Yeah, magic oh, yeah, keyboard, no. touch bar, maybe mm -hmm. <laughs> something like that. I don't know. I'm curious. I think some people would do cool things with that as yeah. they typically do with Apple stuff. Yeah. As long as Apple can justify it as being a legitimate replacement for a laptop, then fully expect them to charge laptop prices for it. I'm just getting ideas about it now if like if they build wireless charging into it. Generally, laptops have much bigger batteries that you don't wireless charge. But if the phone's powering the whole thing, you kind of have just like space for battery in that mm. laptop and you just wirelessly charge the whole battery. Do you think Apple will do something like this? Yes or no? Is this just a rumor? Is this just garbage? Is this just fluff? I don't think it's iPhone 11. I think they're considering it for a future iPhone, maybe. But even Razer's Project Linda was kind of an indicator that it's cool, but most people aren't actually gonna use this. So I'm, yeah. I'm gonna vote no for iPhone 11. No for iPhone 11. I think I agree with you. I don't think we're gonna see it in the next version, but it is cool and as a gadget head and a tech fan, I this want it. kind of thing is it starts to get interesting. You start to reconfigure your mindset about 
like what computing devices should be. I mean, I had a bit of that dilemma with the latest iPad yeah. where I gave up a laptop completely and I was just using it. I'm like, wow, it's interesting. Like some things it does really well. Other things I feel like I'm missing a, a laptop. So some sort of a hybrid. And of course the success of Microsoft Surface products, which at mm -hmm. first were weird and now they're everywhere. So, I mean, coming out here to Toronto, I brought my iPad and my MacBook Pro and I haven't opened my MacBook Pro yet, but I've used my iPad. Something like a hybrid where I, I don't necessarily have to buy both things is always appealing. Could be cool. Think about it, Apple. <laughs>